we choose joy and adventure. And this comes from Psalm 16, verse 11. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. What we love about this verse is that God is able to make known the path of life. Or in other words, he shows us how to live, you know, why we're here, our purpose. And secondly, that he will fill us with joy in his presence. And these two things, the path of life and filling us with joy, are what made up this value with the all-important word at the beginning, choose. Choose. Choices or decisions, you know, I believe and we believe, are one of the most powerful things in the universe. Yeah. You know, God called it free will. Let's think of it as, as a choice. When we choose to do something, mm. we decide it in our hearts, and our heads, there is pretty much no person on earth that can stop you from doing what you choose to do. Yeah. There may be obstacles in the way, but when you think of you know, some of the, the people who've made the biggest impacts on the world, they made a choice, whether it be for good or bad. So choosing to do something is very powerful. And by choosing to partner with God and his word, we are making a very clear statement of who we live for and by what values we are living by. By choosing joy and adventure, we're actually making a statement that no matter what we're going through, no matter where the adventure or that the path of life leads us, we're going to continue to choose joy and continue to choose the adventure that a life following Jesus, following Jesus brings. No turning back, no giving in, no surrender. We choose it because we believe it. And we believe because we have faith. So why choose joy? Number one, because who doesn't want to be joyful? I don't think anyone would argue with that. We have Jesus. We live in an incredible time in history where we get to experience the Holy Spirit, God dwelling within us. And to a lost and broken world, joy is one of the greatest commodities. If we don't have joy, what message are we putting out to those who don't know God? Simply put, biblical joy is choosing to respond to external circumstances with inner contentment and satisfaction because we know that God will use whatever we're doing and experiencing to accomplish his work in and through our lives. Joy is not cir circumstantial like happiness. Joy in, the, uh, joy in the, the Lord is that inner joy that is rooted in Christ and not affected by circumstance. We hear in Galatians that joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life. So if you're living and walking your adventure with Jesus and the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding as he should be, then we will produce joy as a fruit of that. However, sometimes when life isn't easy, when we lose people we love or we are hurt or we feel discouraged, then we have to choose to display that joy that comes from God. And this isn't a masking over of feelings or emotion, a pushing down of what's really going on. This is a joy from deep within your spirit and soul that almost doesn't make sense. And that is why we often have to choose it. You see, in James uh, 1 verse 2, it says this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that we will live a trouble-free life, I'm afraid. What it does say is that we can live a life of fulfilment and purpose. And one of the best things that God gives us is joy. The scriptures say the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now this, this scripture we just read from James brings us nicely back to adventure. Choose adventure. Now, I'm a big Bear Grylls fan from my sofa. I like to think that I could do what he does, um, but in reality, I'd probably hate I'd hate it and I'd be having to choose joy the whole time. But adventure is more than just fending for yourself in hostile environments. You know, we believe that the Christian life is an adventure. We are living for a God who has a mission and that we are each called to be a part of. And we get to discover and find that out, you know, what 
our purpose is, of why we exist and to then play a part in his kingdom. Y you want to know the meaning of life? Come and ask the maker. The Christian life is often described as a journey. It requires movement and growth. To go on that journey requires faith and having faith will be to some really easy, but to others it may take some effort and some deciding. I love the film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. For any younger people watching who don't know what that is, <laughs> it's basically Han Solo from Star Wars being like a superhero archaeologist going on adventures and trying to find lost treasure you know, and relics and things like that, which makes it sound really yeah, awful. awful. But anyway... The Last Crusade, it has a scene in it where Indiana Jones is having to cross a seemingly unpassable gap on his quest. The clues he's been given basically say that him, for him to continue on his adventure, to cross it, he has to take a step of faith. He literally has to step out into the gap and hope that something will catch him. On our path of life, you know, that, that Psalm 16 talks about, it says that God makes known to us the path we have to be able to take a step of faith on this. You know, being adventurous can often mean stepping outside of our comfort zone. It can mean risk and change, challenging ourselves to go further, to be bolder and to relish the adventure. As a community of people, we believe joy and adventure will bind us together. It will make this journey more fun together. We can take risks together and we can have joy together and we can often fail together and that is part of the adventure too. So let's choose to master the art of celebration and do this adventure that is our Christian journey together. As a family, if, we, if we're seeing a, a number of, of meltdowns and harsh words in the day, all of which you, You'll you never, you, you see, never at see at church, but anyway, it happens in our family, believe it or not. You know, we'll take a step back together and say something like, guys, we're letting stress or sadness or whatever it is into our house and into this family. Let's get rid of it and choose joy. We have young kids, so we tell them uh, whatever the negative emotion is, let's say it's sadness, for example, to do one and we throw it at the cross and then we choose to release and receive joy. One of our children is a lot less adventurous than the rest rest of us and we often encourage them by reminding them by of the adventure that is on the other side of facing our fears and taking risk we have to check with this child that they they trust us to look after them in whatever risk you know we're taking a lovely picture of how we can trust god yeah. to be with us when we take risks in our walk with him so church Let's show the world that God is worth following and he does enrich our lives with adventure by choosing his joy. And let's do this adventure together.